What's up, YouTube? Back at it again with another video. Going to be working on my Kuki S14 today, the black one. Uh, when I bought it, it had a, the gas tank was leaking. So I have to take it out. I'm going to swap it with the one that I took out of the, the Zanki that I have in the shop. Because... I want to be able to drive the Kuki. Right now, it's it's pretty scary to drive because it's leaking really bad. So I'm gonna go bring it into the shop so I could start working on it. Super clean. No packs on the dash. You guys can see the mileage. It only has 79,000. One thing that sucks is it's automatic, but I could always be changed out. Got the confetti seats. I need to swap out all the lines. All these lines are super hard and brittle. Yeah, drives good. I need to drop the whole subframe. Mm, that's not fun. I just did it on the Zanki. And this is the second time doing it on this car. Cause I tried to put some JB Weld, but yeah, that didn't hold up good on the gas tank. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. This is a right hand drive clip for an S12. I was thinking of maybe converting this one to right hand drive. Get the whole firewall. It's pretty cool. Or maybe even this thing. Convert this to right hand drive. Be sick. be like one or two or something out here in the US. Yeah, need to jack it up and start working on it.
Alright, so to remove the whole subframe, I have to start off by taking the brake caliper off. Take the wheel off, take the brake caliper off, take the e-brake line out on both sides. And then I'll be able to access all the other bolts to drop the subframe. Just to show you guys what I did. Uh, the Z brake cable was on, I had to take it out off the caliper. Take the caliper and the rotor off. I need to hang this up so that way the brake line doesn't get messed up. And then there's a 10 in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Right there. You gotta take that off, it's holding the e-brake cable onto the subframe. And then you gotta do the same thing for the other side. And then there is a big bolt right there. 14 right there, another 14 right there. And look, you can see the gas leak. The gas tank is leaking. And then we got the rear, the rear bolts. Put solid stuff frame bushings when I took it out. So, yeah, gonna take those out. Okay, now onto the other side.
All right, I took the exhaust out. Now I gotta support the jack, or the, the subframe with the jack. And then take the subframe out. Here you go. Your set frame is out. This is the one from the Zanke. Now I gotta take the gas tank out. Alright, I'm gonna remove the bolts that are holding the gas tank. There's a two 17 millimeter bolts. So drop it, and I have a jack under to support. There's a leak. It's leaking right here. It was leaking right here, but I fixed it. So, yep. Yeah. 